The Supreme Court will soon take a case to decide whether Texas congressional districts discriminate against minorities and need to be redrawn. One of those districts in question is held by Austin Democrat Lloyd Doggett. The congressman spoke with KXAN's Phil Prazen about the case. So what's your first reaction to now this is going to go to the Supreme Court? Well, that it does not make any difference in what I'm doing. Uh, I don't believe it will affect the elections in 2018, mm -hmm. and it just means I continue living on I-35 and doing my best to represent both the San Antonio, Austin areas, and everything in between. Is there a problem, though, that you see with the maps and how they're drawn? Oh, there are all kinds of problems with what was done way back in 2011, and amazing that at this late date it's still on the agenda. One wonders if this will be resolved before redistricting starts all over again in 2021 after the 2020 census. Mm -hmm. I've always said I was ready to run wherever it was necessary and that uh, the best politicking I could do was to try to deliver good government. And that's what I'm trying to do. Do you, do you think that this is an important issue to tackle for the Supreme Court? I think uh, the, uh, the way that gerrymandering has occurred in Texas and a number of other states really starts what happens in Congress. Mm -hmm. uh, we are developing districts where Republicans are selecting their voters rather than the other way around. Mm -hmm. And so in so many of these districts, the only thing they have to worry about is someone uh, a little further to the right than they are. Mm -hmm. And that makes it very difficult to reach a bipartisan agreement on key issues in Congress. I hope that the United States Supreme Court eventually says that there are limits to political gerrymandering, but I'm not optimistic that they will. There are cases pending for Wisconsin, soon North Carolina, and now Texas.